Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. Hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to wrap up chapter 5. Chapter 5 is only 12 verses long. We're going to hit verses 11 and 12 today. We're going to continue this story. This is, is a pretty lengthy story. And again, as I said yesterday, I want this stuff to marinate. I want you to just think about what's going on here. And we're going to draw some conclusions once we get to the, towards the end of this, this particular story as to how much God loves us. And we, we can see that in, in this passage that God loves his people. Uh, he, he brought discipline and order in, into the lives of these people. He, he wanted them to trust him. The things that had happened in, in, in these passages here, we see that there was a lot of dishonor towards God and, and an irreverence toward God. And, and God brought a halt to that. But the thing is, is that when we have that happen to us, Jesus has taken the, the brunt of all that punishment so that God can just take us, pick us up, dust us off, and set us back on the right path. And so we're not focused on the wrong. We can focus on God's love. And that's exactly what God wants us to do. So verses 11 and 12 today, we're going to see uh, a little more of this story unfold. And, and we're getting close to seeing this ark go back to the people of Israel. Verses 11 and 12, verse 11 says, And they sent therefore and gathered the lords of the Philistines again. Send away this ark of the God of Israel and let it return to its own place that it may not kill us and, or, and our people. For there was a deadly confusion throughout the city and the hand of God was very heavy there. And the men who did not die were smitten with tumors. And the cry of the city went up to heaven. These people here had a lot of, a lot of, a lot of travesty hit them. Something that they did not expect. Uh, they, they, they had t stolen something from the, the, how, the nation of Israel. Uh, yeah, they defeated them in battle. Yes, there's a lot of things when you defeat somebody in battle. There were spoils. The Ark of the Covenant at that time became a spoil of war. But God is a part of that. But God was alive and, and well. And God was still taking care of his people even though his people were rebellious against him and were dishonoring him and devaluing uh, the, temp, the tabernacle that God had laid out for them to provide worship and pro provide a way of sacrifice. Uh, this, is, this finishes out this chapter. We're going to start chapter 6 in the next episode tomorrow, and we're going to see that the, the people of Israel get their ark back, and we'll see what happens. Hang with me. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your many blessings. Father, we thank you for this story. Father, help us to understand just what you, you want us to see here in this story. Help us to help us this to unfold in our minds and in our hearts. Help this to become more of a part of who, who we are. And help us to see just truly how much you do love us. Father, you cherish each and every one of us. And we're thankful that you provided a way that we could have everlasting life. And we could have an eternity to spend with you. Father, we love you and we need you. And we stand in need of your toes. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the Daily Ride. And I hope you will keep riding.